much to say about this one. If you drink beer, you need a bottle opener. If you don't drink beer, maybe you have people over your house who do. Or you can start drinking coke out of bottles as an excuse to make one. Either way, it's a fancy mounted bottle opener with a magnetic cap catcher. And here's how I made it. I started out by ripping down some scrap walnut, and to be completely honest, this was supposed to be a picture frame. But I cut the maple too thick, and the border would have been too thin if I ripped the maple down into thinner strips. So I decided to make this instead. For cutting the maple, I used my thin strip ripping jig from Rockler. You just set the width, put your board in between the fence and the jig, make your cut, slide the fence over using the new board width, cut, and repeat. When cutting thin strips like 1 8 of an inch, it gives a much cleaner cut than trapping the tiny strip up against your fence. Or at least, it seems to do that with my cheap fence. <laughs> if I had made the picture frame, the glue up would have been done in two sections at half the width of what you see here. Since I changed my mind, I glued all the pieces together and made the bottle opener. Next, I used the opener to mark the holes for mounting. Then I traced out where I wanted the magnet to go. I'm using a one and a quarter inch wide by one eighth of an inch thick neodymium magnet, and I'll put a link down in the description for everything that I'm using. Next, I set the depth on my drill press so I wouldn't blow through the back, or I guess in this case, the front of the board. Then I drill up the hole with a one and a quarter inch portion bit. Here I'm drilling holes all the way through the board since I'm using the same screws to mount the board to the wall and hold the opener on. I picked up some one and a half inch stainless steel screws that are the same size as the ones that came with the mount. Then I just used some CA glue to mount the magnet in the hole. I sanded everything down using the 220 grit. I forgot to do raise the grain, so I ended up having to fix that after the first coat of finish. I'm just using a regular polyurethane finish from Home Depot. And I don't really have any place to mount this in my house right now, so I just mounted it to my workbench my miter saw station just to try it out. This is definitely a novelty item, but it's a cool gimmick to have for a party. It's much easier to use a handheld opener, which I also made a video for one of those. I'll put a link and a card up when that video is up. I was pretty happy when it caught two caps in a row since I dropped a few by hand before installing the opener, and it didn't go so well. You can also make one of these out of a single board, add some scrap cedar, oak, and some plywood that was already glued up. So I drilled out holes in all those pieces just for the hell of it. 